What's going on there folks, Earthmaster here checking in with an update video on a 6.4 earthquake occurring out here in the uh, New Zealand region once again. No surprise, right? Quite the amount of earthquake activity kicking off out there. 6.4 is south of the region, uh, just, uh, just south of the region where that 8.1 struck yesterday. Um, all the earthquake activity that we've seen uh, was tremendous to say the least out there following that 8.1. Uh, seven, all the sevens look like they have dropped off that 24 hour threshold. The latest 6.4 earthquake occurring in the cluster to the south, where we've seen that 7.3 strike, uh, a few hundred miles south of the 8.1 that struck yesterday. So aftershock activity and pressure still increasing within this region here, 176 kilometers northeast of Gisborne, New Zealand area, just off the coast, uh, on the northern end. <clears throat> We've got to pay attention to this region here. We start to see a little migration here to the south towards the Hikarangi Trench area. That's an area to pay some very close attention to. Uh, anyway, 6.2 striking at 9.2 kilometers below the surface um, within that cluster of quakes there. Aftershocks, I should say, following yesterday, 7.3 in this area. We'll go ahead and check out any potential tsunami statement with this. I don't believe there's going to be one. This earthquake just occurred uh, a very short time ago, only uh, oh, I don't, I don't know exactly the amount of time that's passed here, but um, let's check out the tsunami statements here real quick, see if there is one. Uh, nope, still shows the 8.1 from yesterday. With the, they ended up making 20 messages. That's uh, pretty incredible. There, 20 uh, statements, at least for the non-U.S. Canada Pacific threat. 20 updates on that uh, tsunami threat yesterday. Uh, so no, no tsunami, a warning or any type of update with this thing. I believe it's been reviewed. Let me double check here. Uh, it has been reviewed by the, a geologist, seismologist guy, 6.4. Uh, so it looks like the depth of about 9.2 kilometers um, out there in the Pacific, folks. Still pretty active out there. The rest of the globe, uh, fairly non-existent for the most part. Bullseye. Over the past 48 hours has been, uh, no doubt, within this region of uh, New Zealand. Kermadec Island still seen uh, quite a bit of aftershock activity within that 8.1 area that struck yesterday. Pretty good drawn out area of migration, about 7,500 miles or so from tip to tip um, along the Kermadec Trench. Uh, Kermadec Island sitting over here. Uh, just still be on guard, folks. You know, we're still looking at potential um, uh, pressure increases out here in this region. Fiji Island's pretty quiet uh, over the last 24 hours and also through the Solomon Islands region. Like I said, it's been really quiet for the most part, uh, but still, stay, stay on guard, you know, be uh, prepared and whatnot for uh, potential further movement. Uh, that 6.4 did show up pretty nicely on quite a few seismograph stations there. Um, that occurred, like I said, just occurred, uh, well, hold on one second here. I'm looking at the UTC time here of, uh, wow. Okay. I'm just trying to figure this out here real quick, folks. Uh, looking at the timestamp here. There's a signature of a large quake right there in that chili station. Um, <clears throat> and I believe... I believe it's that 6.4 that's showing up there, but the time just doesn't match up. I know it wasn't uh, 20 minutes ago, so... Kind of odd. Kind of odd. Uh, there's... What the heck is going on? I think we may be... Uh... Hold on a second here. Okay, um... Anyway, I will check back up on this, folks. Um, either way, 6.4 striking out there uh, off the coast of New Zealand. Once again, pretty good size earthquake out there. Aftershock, uh, definitely still pressure out there being released and uh, playing a part out there in the uh, Pacific Plate region. We will be back a little bit later tonight with a full update. Stay safe out there.